Oh, this is pretty exciting. Good. Um, I've been quite busy putting this together, so my presentation is quite uh, lackluster. But luckily there's lots of really good people coming after me, so hopefully that'll make up for it. You're about to see the world's simplest PowerPoint. It's basically that. Um, so, good morning. Welcome to London. Um, and welcome to Bigger Plate Unplugged. It is the first... Um, conference, to my knowledge, dedicated entirely to mind mapping. Um, and just cheers and applause. Oh, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't think that would actually work. That's quite good. Um, today represents the launch of, of a really exciting uh, series of events, uh, not just for Bigger Plate, but hopefully for the mapping world as a whole. Um, we're aiming to bring together local communities in different locations around the world. We've got two of my friends here from uh, Paris who are helping us put together our Paris event, which is happening in March. Um, we're then hoping to follow that with other events. The aim is to bring together local communities and mappers in the hope of uh, developing greater connectivity and conversation with the, uh, within the mapping arena as a whole. It's a very ambitious project for a very small business like ours. Uh, some of you may have noted the number of Hughes you've seen on your way in. It's not coincidence, we are related. I have called in all the favors I can. This girlfriend giving you name badges, cousin checking you in on the front door. We are a small business. This is an ambitious thing for us, but we think it's absolutely key, not only for our own success, but for the success of the mapping arena as a whole. Um, I think a better connected community is going to be far more able to drive my mapping forward, um, not just in terms of product and service development and innovation, but in terms of spreading the tools further into businesses and into education. We think a conference series is absolutely integral to this, and um, I've been very uh, encouraged by numerous people today saying to me that this is long overdue. Um, and I think uh, there have been some very valiant attempts to do it before. Um, and we have to give a huge amount of thanks to a number of friends and colleagues in the mapping space for their support and encouragement uh, in making this happen. Gathered in this room are some of the most uh, insightful and influential uh, mind mapping figures, not only in the UK, but we've actually got people from uh, the Netherlands, from uh, Sweden, from France, from Estonia, and probably some that I've forgotten. So we've got a really good collection of people here, but there's also some people who are just using my mapping in their everyday work, and we're just as interested in hearing from those people as we are from the, the people who we may already be familiar with. I hope you're as excited as I am about the other people in this room and what you may be able to learn from them and pick up from them over the, the course of today. I'm very fortunate in my role at Bigger Plate that I do get to meet quite a lot of my mappers in person. There's a lot of familiar faces here to me and that's, that's really been great for me over the last two years, especially to pick the brains of people who know a lot more than I do. Um, and I sort of encourage you to try and take advantage of this opportunity and, and talk and meet with as many people as possible. I'm sure there are loads of you who know each other through Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, all of these things. Now is a really unique opportunity to get together in person and share some ideas, come up with some new stuff, ask some questions. My belief, which will either be proved correct or incorrect in time, is that gathering together people in this way um, with the shared mindset that mind mappers seem to have is that it will drive things forward. I do meet a lot of mappers and there does seem to be a collaborative, innovative mindset they're always open to new ideas and come up with new ways to tackle problems or challenges that they're facing. So again, to get people together in a room like this, I'd be amazed if there's not some really interesting outcomes. Maybe not immediately, but over time, hopefully. So again, I encourage you to, to do what you will with this event, really. We also have a fantastic lineup of speakers today. So awesome, in fact, that I actually had to cut myself from the agenda. <laughs> which, um, which hurt somewhat, but I think it's worth it because we have brought together a caliber of, of speaker um, that I don't think has been done before. Um, we've been really, really fortunate um, to get the people we have, and I'd like to say thank you in advance to everyone who is speaking today for their time and sharing their expertise. I'd especially like to thank uh, the software developers in the room. 
not because it's all about the software or the software developers, but because they have been really supportive of this idea from the moment we first raised it with them, and that's why there are so many of them in the room today who are going to be sharing some of their perspectives. They're not here to pitch you anything. You all use mind mapping already. They're here to just share their perspectives, and we're very grateful for them um, for doing that. In terms of where these events fit with Bigger Plate on the whole, um, our goal is pretty simple. Uh, we want to be the best source of mind mapping content and community in the world. That's the goal. These events play a really key part in helping us build towards that goal um, and complementing the work we do in the online world by now starting to create something of an offline community and an offline connectedness in the mind mapping world. Our hope is that Bigger Plate will come to play the role of connecting mind mappers. We're quite happy to just put you in touch with each other and let you come up with the cool stuff. Um, and that's what these events are about. So again, I encourage you to try and talk to as many people as possible and, and learn from what they're doing and, and how they're doing it. We've got a long way to go before we reach that goal, but um, the progress we've made over the last couple of years especially, and the projects we've got planned for the next year or so, um, hopefully indicate that we're on the right track. Um, we've had almost 2,000 people sign up to Bigger Plate uh, in 2013. So we're growing quite quickly. Uh, so, so it doesn't have to be all about us, but we would like to get as many of you plugging into what we do and, and helping us uh, to grow this thing because it allows us to do more. It allows us to do events like this. Um, so that's what we're trying to get you to do. We have a lot to get through today, and I've already seen my time is, is ticking away. So I've asked all our speakers to try and be respectful of the people who are following on from them uh, by keeping to time. So I'm going to try and wrap up uh, my little intro and pass over to our, our first speaker. Um, he also happens to have a plane to catch, and he's very keen that I stick to time. Um, so it just reminds me to, to wish you all a really enjoyable day. Um, please give everyone here the benefit of your ideas, your energy, uh, and your experience. Uh, we've got some great minds here, so I think we should really try and do something with that. And I hope to catch up with all of you at some point today, or in the pub up the road afterwards. Um, so that's all for me, and I'd like to introduce our first speaker, who is the CEO of Think Buzan, um, Chris Griffiths, who is, I'm gonna come up here, give us a talk.